keep this short and sweet. Now, I heard about the Mandela effect being linked to the work that's taking place at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Um, obviously, uh, I've got a little scientific background, but uh, all I've got to say is just got to comment on um, what we know uh, scientifically in terms of um, quantum mechanics. We look at the double slit experiment where yeah, it appears as if once you realize that something's happening, it stops happening. Now, what are we looking for at CERN? What are we looking to realize? Because as soon as we go to realize it, to see how it's happening, it will stop happening. Now, if we're looking for what glues reality into one sing single reality, if we're looking for that, as soon as we try to see it, as soon as we see what's happening there, it's going to stop happening. Maybe that's what's causing all these multiple realities to start happening and crossing each other's paths um, in our consciousness. Um, so I think in terms of there being a conspiracy, I don't think so. I don't think it's a conspiracy concerning CERN. I think it's just basically, it's just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, complacency or, um, what's the word? Ignorance, yeah? Like where you don't really understand how strong the human mind is. And as soon as you realize something that's so fundamental to reality and existence itself, to force it to stop happening, to accommodate your consciousness is careless. Yeah, so um, I don't think they're doing it deliberately. They just haven't thought about it philosophically. If you look at a double slit experiment, think about it. If you're gonna see the God particle, it's gonna stop working the way it does. And if that happens, maybe that's the Mandela effect. Think about that.